Hello everyone and welcome to this YouTube channel. Now in this video we are going to uh, draw the projection of lines. Now take a look at the question. So we are provided with a line AB which is 60 millimeters long and its ends uh, basically distance of end B is given. So B end is 20 mm away from HP and 40 mm away from VP. So uh, the line is parallel to both the principal plane. So if a line is parallel to both planes, both uh, horizontal plane and vertical plane, it simply means that its projections, they will also be parallel to the XY line. So uh, front view and top view, both of those views, they will be parallel to XY line. Now what will be the distance of uh, the front view? So it will be 20 mm if the line is in first quadrant and uh, distance of the top view that will be 40 mm. So we are going to draw the projection of this line. Now we need to draw the projections in all four quadrant quadrants. So we are going to draw the projection for first two quadrants uh, first and then we will be drawing it for the uh, remaining quadrants the third and fourth. So start from a line. Now uh, I'm going to start a line and measure basically the front view of this particular line will be 20 mm away from the horizontal plane and the length of line. Now if a line is parallel to both HP and VP, a horizontal plane and vertical plane, its uh, length that will be visible in projection, it will be the true length. Okay. Then. So basically this portion, this line segment that we have created, this is the projection, this is the front view. Now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to measure 40 mm for uh, the top view, then 60 in this side and then. So basically these are our projections. So I am going to increase the line weight of these projections like this. So just name these uh, projections using M text or multi line text. Now this line is AB. So I'm right. Basically, this is the front view. So it will be written as A dash. Now let's uh, change the size to four units. Press enter. Now shift this text here. Control C and paste it here. Now this one it should be B dash. So this is the front view of this line. Now in top view basically we will have to remove the dash with that is uh, with these annotations because this is the top view and in top view we do not write dash with these projections. Now so specify the dimension as well. So this should be 20 mm then this should be 40 mm after that length of this line is 60 mm then this is the case when the line is in first quadrant so in first quadrant if a, if a line is in first quadrant its front view will be above xy line and top view will be uh, below xy line okay now let's name this as well. So basically this is your xy line. So place this x here, copy it, place y here. Double click on it and edit this, write it y. So this is the projection when the quadrant is first quadrant. Okay. Let's copy and let's uh, write the scenario. Which quadrant is this? This is first quadrant. Now let's increase this one. So this was the case of first quadrant. Now for second quadrant, for second quadrant, uh, I'm just copying it and paste it here. What will happen? What will be the scenario in this quadrant? Basically, in second quadrant, both of these views, they will be above XY line because we, are, we have to rotate the uh, horizontal plane. 
by 90 degree clockwise so both horizontal and vertical plane they will be above x y line so we will have to draw both front view and the top view above the line okay so start a line now i'm drawing it here so 20 mm press enter then 60 press enter later on more 20 then 60 so this is how the projection will look like so both of these projections they will be above xy line so increase the line weight now this is how the projections will be drawn but we'll have to name them now if uh, this particular line is in second quadrant what will be the scenario its front view uh, what will be the which one which view is this this is the front view and this one is the top view so what we are going to do is we are going to copy these texts okay leave it now i just want to move this text a little bit place it here now copy both of them and paste them here so this is the front view so it will be represented with uh, by this a dash and b dash let's place it like this and this one as well so this is your front view okay now for top view the same annotation a b so copy this annotation and paste it here so this is for your top view now we are going to place the dimensions as well so this is not needed the dimension that we need for this one will be this much again this much then length of this line is needed like this so basically we have drawn uh, the projections for first and second quadrant now for third and fourth quadrant these projections they will be exactly opposite okay so what will happen in this scenario uh, let's change the colors a little bit so that the drawings they are proper right click select similar okay now we don't want to select the projection lines so that's why we'll have to select them separately okay text we can select later on but the projection lines they should not be selected now after selecting all of them just change their color so instead of y layer use a different color that you find suitable so let's let's take bluish color now for this xy line i'm going to use another color now for dimensions we can use another different color like this now so this is the case with first and second uh, quadrant scenario of projection of lines for third and fourth what we need to do is simply select all of them now for projection of first will be just opposite to the projection of third so we can use a mirror uh, mirror line okay so select mirror command specify a mirror line and just place this mirror line like this do you want to erase the source object no we need all all four so dimensions are quite clearer instead of first you need to write third quadrant here so this will be the projection of third quadrant and this one will be the projection of fourth quadrant okay so you can move it a little bit if you want so let's select it select move command specify this point as the base point and uh, place it like this so that everything else is clearly visible now in order to make it more concise just shift this text here and this is our drawing for the question 
So, I hope uh, you have understood all the uh, aspects related to projection. Now, one more thing that you need to note here is while uh, using mirror command, the text was not inverted, okay. Dimensions were not inverted and text was not inverted. So, this is something that you should uh, appreciate about AutoCAD. You will not find this feature in any other uh, drawing software. So, that is all for this uh, particular question. I hope you have learned something new. So, thank you very much and have a nice day.